Hey everyone, this is Pyro, and I'm bringing you my ultimate duck hunt guide for patch 3.0. So, in this guide, it will be split into five parts. Um, the first part will be how to use duck hunt's normals and his upbeat. The second part will be how to use duck hunt's can. Uh, the third part will be how to use his clay pigeon. The fourth, how to use his gunman. And the final episode being bringing it all together. Now, for people interested in playing Duck Hunt in this game, what I'll tell you is, uh, Duck Hunt is one of the hardest characters to learn in Smash Brothers, but the reward for it is you get one of the coolest combo games, uh, out of all the, out of the entire cast, as well as, um, a very flexible character that can do well in a lot of matchups. Um, if you want to be someone like Raito in the future, if you want to do a lot of cool duck hunt combos this is the guide that will get you there in time so first up for the guide on using duck hunts and normals we're going to be just going over his combo game well, there's a lot of small variations but it's a pretty general idea of how everything works so just to make sure we're on cpu shuffling a lot and stale moves on so first off we're going to go with uh fair combos so there, fair has two hits a weak hit and a strong hit today we're going to be far as of right now we're going to be focusing on the strong hit right now so one thing we can do is we can do the strong hit of fair into jab, we can do the strong hit of fair into uh, up tilt, and the strong hit of dare into down tilt. So that's, base, that's some 0% combos we can get for hitting strong and fair. Um, the next one is about around 20%. Uh, you can go for this mix up at zero, but it's better at 20% where it's guaranteed, is the ability to go for a strong fair into grab. So that's just a free combo you can get. Um, the next thing, is a strong fair into dash attack. And lastly, um, at a bit of higher percents, you can even go strong fair into another forward air. Whoops. There we go. So just some basic ideas that you can do off of comping forward air. Um, the next one is now for our weak hit of forward air, because that also has combo application. So there's weak hit into jab. There's also we hit down tilt and we hit F tilt. Um, the next one we can do is we can um, also at around a bit higher percents, we can do we no, we can do a we hit to a grab. Um, we can also do a weak whoops, a weak hit. Oh, a weak hit into a dash attack. And also um, a bit of a cool mix-up, you can do a weak hit into a dare, but this one's pretty tight. Yep. So there's weak hit into dare, which is a, a mix-up on some DIN, but it's pretty tight to hit. Um, and also, as we saw earlier, we can do a weak hit affair into a strong hit affair. And last but not least, uh, if you get it by the ledge, then you have the option to do a weak hit affair into a back air. And that can potentially kill out the ledge. So, um, next thing is we're going to be focusing on Nair combos. So, uh, again, with Nair, Nair has a strong hitbox and a weak hitbox, and they both have combo applications. So, for, um, for Nair, for the strong Nair combos, we have strong hit of Nair into jabs, we have strong hit of Nair into F tilt, and strong hit of Nair into down tilt. Oh, strong hit of Nair into down tilt. Um, also, about 20%, we can do nares into grab. And also, we can do um, strong hit nares into dash attack. Uh, later on, maybe around 60% or so, uh, one thing we can do with the strong hit nair is get knockdowns with it. Not so much on floaty characters. And here you can just set up for jab locks, which is pretty nice. So jab locks will be coming later. Um, next up for Nair, we have the weak hits of Nair, who also, which also have a lot of combo applications. So we can do weak hit of Nair into jabs, weak hit of Nair down tilt, weak hit of, oh, weak hit of Nair down tilt, weak hit of Nair F tilt. At zero, some of these are a bit tight. Um, then we can also do um, about starting at the 40% in a pretty tight window and a pretty tight nair, you can do a very low hit nair into down smash and up smash. So that's optimal damage that you can do if you ever find that spacing for the nair. Um, 
but even at these percents, we can still do weak nair into things like downfield and that still. As you saw there, he can even get a drag down still. Or it can get a knock, that, or it can get a, a trip there. Um, and also, you can do weak hit of nairs into dash attack. Those are better at higher percents when you get pushed farther away. And also, the ability to do oops, a weak hit of nair into a grab. So next up is going to be um, a bit of a specific combo, but it's one of the things that you can do is, if you ever land it, is dash attack combos. So dash attack only has one combo application, and that's the late hit of dash attack, because the early hit just hits like that, but the late hit, which is pretty tight hit, the late hit of dash attack will actually send the opponent behind you, and you can combo off of it. So pretty tight. Um, there I didn't get the true combo window. Oh, nope. But, uh, generally what will help out with this combo window is your opponent will usually DI in, uh, will end up DI'ing out for the, uh, for the early hit of Nair, or the early hit of dash attack, because you mix them up by getting the late hit of it, you can actually get them to DI in for the move, and make it easier to combo into up air. Uh, there's also applications instead of getting into up air, you can get it into back air instead. So, just something small you can do with dash attack if you ever land it. Something specific to know. Uh, next thing to know is F throw combos. So, this is your basic throw combos for ducking at low percent. It's possible. So, one thing we can do is forward throw into jabs, which is pretty tight. But better is forward throw into dash attack, which is a lot easier. And also forward throw into fair. Um, it is possible to get a forward throw into a late hit of dash attack into up airs, but as you can see, that's not the easiest thing to do, and not the easiest thing to do on light, on light characters. So the next thing is um, some down throw combos. Uh, down throw only really true combos into one move, and that's forward air. So at 40%, you can do down throw forward airs, and that's just something that you want to do when um, the window for forward throw combos is gone. So this is just something you can do. Uh, keep in mind, you don't have a lot of frame advantage here, so it's pretty tight. And then the next thing is um, you have some mix-ups on down throw at the ledge. So there's down throw fair. Uh, not really a true combo, but just something that you can do on some poor DI at the ledge. Uh, you have to buffer the, back, uh, the turnaround for the back air. And another thing is on, um, on DI in, you can true combo down throw into up air. Uh, this can be a kill confirm. It's pretty rare though. Um, generally, you want to just be able to mix up someone's DI to be able to do this. And as you can see, even at a 120, it won't kill fresh. So, but just something to know. Uh, just something that can potentially kill. There we go. So just on some bad DI and you're able to true combo that. So just keep in mind that's something you can mix up with your down throw. Uh, the next thing is up tilt combos. So up tilt's pretty specific. It has a very bad um, horizontal hitbox. You have to get really tight up to make it hit. So even like running up tilt is kind of tricky here. Um, but up tilt does have good combo applications in that it combos into up air, which combos into another up air. Oop, have to be kind of tight on this and not miss. There we go. So that's one of the applications of up tilt. And then the other application of up tilt is around high percents in a pretty specific window around 115, 120. You can do up tilt, true combo into up air as a kill confirm. So something pretty tight you can do with up tilt. There is ways to combo into this later, but we'll be getting farther down in the guide. Um, the next thing is just up air combos. So, in terms of up air combos, uh, nothing really too specific. Just make sure you know that you can combo um, up air into up air. That's pretty much it for up air combos. Um, there is the ability to drag down with up air. Uh, let's set the CP a bit higher percent. So the other thing with up air combos is that it's possible to drag down up air. Uh, this is not the easiest thing to do, but you can do things like um, drag down up air. Oops. You can do things like drag down up air into up tilt. 
but those are pretty tight. Yep. So the way I'm doing this is I'm getting the second hit of up air to be the one that drags down. So see, you're able to do things like that. Uh, there will be more opportunities with different combos down the line to have the op optimal combo route extend with the drag down up air. But for now, just uh, important to know that it exists. And you can do um, most of your grounded options on a drag down up air except for your smash attacks. Your smash attacks are the only ones that are a bit too slow. So grabs, tilts, um, those are possible after a drag down up air. Alright, and then the next thing is, uh, so the next thing is just going to be going a bit into jab locks. Um, for the most part, your best option to get a jab lock is going to be your nair. And here you can just do jab one, two, and two any kind of attack. Um, keep in mind that that uh, whatever happens, you're not fast enough to do an F smash after a, a jab lock. That's just not something that can do. That might work, but it, it has to be pretty tight. For the most part, um, you can't really do jab locks with uh, F smash. And the other thing is, um, uh, it looks kind of cool that I'm doing jab two, but you actually just kind of want jab one. Um, jab two is a bit slower to act out of, but in terms of uh, the best options you can do off of the jab lock, one is sort of clay pigeon. Um, clay pigeon after a jab lock is character specific because of the way just different models. Oop, Mario's a bit too far. And then, um, So as you can see, it's not going to be able to hit Mario. It'll hit characters like Piranha Plan and hit characters like K. Rool. Uh, but the other thing is that your optimal combo off after jab lock can also be, um, whoops, you can do jab lock after stopping jab two. Oop, Mario's too small for uh, the up smash. But you can do um, a jab lock and a down smash. Or you can jab lock, try to do an, um, try to do a down tilt, and reset a jab lock situation. So just interesting things to do. Uh, for the most part, how good your jab locks are for duck on is very character specific. But if you want to forgo the, if you want to forgo the in the entire jab lock, another good thing to do for duck hunt is after you get a knockdown, just go straight for the up smash, or after you get a drag down. Um, Tech chase with down smash. So these are other options you can do if you ever just want to go straight for a smash attack after a knockdown. Oop, there I missed. There, bad range. Oop, missing it again. There we go. So those are some options you can do if you ever get a knockdown off of your nair. All right. So the next thing is um. thing is going to be uh, a couple of dare combos. Now dare doesn't really have a lot of two practical applications, but the most important thing to know is that if you land a very low hit of dare, like that, uh, there is combo applications for it. But um, this is just like point kind of blank right on top of them kind of combo. Uh, I've had, I've gotten up smash and F smash the combo in training room after a landing hit there, but those aren't too real. Uh, you don't have a lot of frames to do much here, and uh, the situation that you're going to be hitting a landing there very specifically like this is pretty rare in a match. As you can see, it's also pretty hard to space too. So this is just something to know that has follow-ups off of it, but not really something that you can combo into or is very, a big part of Duck Hunt's game plan. This is just something to know that you can combo with. All right, so the next important thing is we're gonna be talking about Duck Hunt's upbeat. So about, um, I'm not sure what the exact frame number is, but about um, a full second after you use upbeat, you're able to cancel it with any attack. Uh, you can cancel it with air dodges. You can cancel it with directional air dodges. 
and you can also cancel it with um, other special moves. So, uh, this is just something good to know. Um, when recovering with Duck Hunt, you can uh, use the air. Oh, whoops! Let me further farther away. You can use the air dodge boost to go farther than your up B, or to go to get to the ledge faster. Uh, another thing you can do is um, you can just let the auto snap take you, and Duck Hunt has a pretty generous auto snap. Um, but the other cool thing is that um, by holding down during your up B, you can skip the ledge. And because you can skip the ledge, you can also attack coming off of the ledge. Now, this isn't very fast, and uh, this is pretty easy to read, but one thing you can do is that uh, your auto snap to ledge, as you can see, uh, this is the auto snap. Your auto snap is going to be determined by if you're holding down or not on the controller. So you can actually delay the auto snap by holding down on the controller, and if you're at maybe at the lip of the ledge, let's say I'm holding down here, if I'm at the lip of the ledge, I can mix up whether I'm gonna keep holding down and attack from the ledge or if I just wanna snap to the ledge. So this is a way to mix up people's two frame timing as well, um, whether you're holding down or not during your up B. So, if I, so like this is the full auto snap distance, this is a distance I'm mixing up because I'm holding down, and this is me holding down the entire way, so, oh, whoops, this is me holding down the entire way so I can cancel it with an attack. So, um, obviously, different ledge options you can have, so it's a good way to mix up opponents. Another good thing about this is on platform stages, if you feel like recovering from low is going to get you killed, you can just recover from high and come down with the hitbox on your way. So, kind of like Olimar, kind of like Snake, uh, not as strong as the other two, but definitely uh, something that you can do to prevent yourself from just going low every time with Duck Hunt. Uh, versus some characters like Pikachu and Pichu, who are going to be spiking you a lot, I recommend that you actually go high a lot. Even if you're going to take a lot of damage on the way down, it's better than dying below. Uh, so just a couple of things you can do with that um, up be at the ledge mix up. You can do things like, ooh, these are pretty tight, but you can do things like the ledge snap. You can do things like forward air coming off, back on the way up. You can do nares. Ooh. Uh, don't do it like that, that's going to get you killed. Uh, keep in mind I'm doing this because I'm holding down on my up D. You can do back airs. You can do up airs to land. You can do down airs. And you can even try to do some pseudo wave lands like that. Or um, another cool one is just do a regular, oh, not like that. I was holding down. Another option you can do, which is pretty cool, is to skip the ledge and just do a regular air, bat, air dodge back on the, to get back on the stage. So just different ledge options you have as a mix-up. Uh, don't do this too much or else you're going to get red. But uh, just to show you that you have more options with your upbeat now with Duck Hunt. Uh, another thing with your upbeat is if you're recovering from far away, just use your really, really long directional air dodge to get back. If someone is trying to hit you, because Duck Hunt has a pretty generous um, directional air dodge and grab hitbox to get back. All right, so that's the first part done. Thank you for watching. Um, in the next part, we'll be covering over can and how it applies to Duck Hunt.